So the Indie Tech Talks are a series at NYU Poly that, uh, that I host, and uh, the purpose is to mostly get the community together. So it's designed in such a way that we invite speakers who have some background in technology, but also in game design, that will elaborate on the technology that they use. Not really. No, I mean, no. <laughs> they didn't know about our presence. Yeah. <laughs> Such that the people that come to the talks can actually see how people who have been successful previously in making games. <laughs> in, in that situation, being the only woman, I mean, it, it was time for me to move on. Since I knew that the beginning of the talk, um, I wouldn't have a lot of time. I, I wanted to take maybe 15 minutes to talk about the things that we didn't have and, and how things were done in the old days. So much progress has been made in the development cycle and um, the way games are developed, but we also touched on that it seems like there hasn't been enough progress in the diversity of game designers and, and making the genders um, gender equality for, for game designers. Could you tell us about your best and worst days at Atari? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> Let's see. Um, right after, I, I think it had been maybe two weeks after it shipped to some arcade, and I can't remember um, where this happened, but a, a little kid turned the score over to one million and it had never occurred to me that that was going to happen. I, I had played and played and played and played, and I could make like a hundred thousand. <laughs> and so I just thought, nah, no way, you know. And and so within two weeks, some tiny kid turns the score over to a million. I had not left a space for a million. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, in this case, I'm a big fan of Donna, so I really wanted to um, make sure that I had the chance to hear her. I don't, she's a very mysterious figure because she made Centipede, and then she kind of like disappeared from the video game landscape, so I really thought I should take the opportunity to catch her while she's here because she, for all I know, she lives in New York, but, you know, I don't know what she's up to, and I didn't know if there'd be another chance to see her. Really no other arcade from that comparison. I hope that, that all of these people will find the exact thing that they want to do, that they'll be encouraged to do the things that they're good at. So uh, this was amazing. Thank oh, you so, so much. Thank for you. Insights. Oh. <laughs>